Birds are among the most successful groups of animals on the planet, and many of them are pretty formidable predators. Of course, the dinosaurs that we have today aren't as terrifying as they once were, but they are still capable of tackling pretty substantial prey. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the world's most competitive ecosystems in an attempt to find some of the planet's deadliest birds, and we'll be judging them based on the largest prey that they can kill. Without further ado, we can take a look at our first species, and to find it, we'll be heading to the coasts of northeastern Asia. Stella's sea eagle is a pretty distinctive bird of prey, with its bright yellow bill and talons helping them to stand out in the frigid environments in which they're found. Another thing that really sets them apart from the rest is their size, as they are the heaviest eagle in the world reaching a maximum weight of around 10 kilograms, and they have a wingspan of around 2.5 meters. You'd assume that because these birds are so large they'd hunt giant prey, but the vast majority of their diet is made up of fish, with salmon and trout being their preferred targets. Their size does help them to bully other birds in their ecosystem, and they'll sometimes even target them if fish are scarce. There's a very long list of birds that they have been witnessed hunting, but some of the more interesting species include guillemots, snowy owls, and swans. Even if you do manage to stay out of their crosshairs, they're still pretty horrible birds to share your ecosystem with, as they are notorious kleptoparasites and will steal meals from other birds whenever they get the chance. One country that has a very large Stella's sea eagle population is Japan, with thousands of birds migrating to Hokkaido in the winter. Around 35% of eagles wintering in Japan move inland to mostly feed on mammalian carcasses, but some of these birds will choose to hunt for their food too. They have been known to snatch mink and foxes, but to find the largest prey that they are known to target, you'll have to head back to the ocean. Even though it's a very rare occurrence, these birds will sometimes hunt seal pups that aren't being protected by their mothers, with harbour seals being the species that are usually targeted. They have been witnessed catching the pups with their talons and flying off with them, but the weights of the pups that they hunt have never been verified. While researching this video, I found that a lot of the weights claimed are overestimates, and it can be hard to find reliable information regarding the size of the prey that the birds hunt. Despite this, there are estimates that the Stella sea eagle can carry off seals weighing around 9.1 kilograms, which means that they are fit for the seventh place spot. For our next section, we'll be heading over to South America, as we'll be taking a look at one of the most iconic eagles in the world. The harpy eagle is the largest bird of prey throughout its range, and I'm sure many of you will be a little surprised to see it this early on in the video. The harpy eagle spends most of its days gliding over tropical lowland rainforests looking for its desired prey, which usually comes in the form of tree-dwelling mammals. Studies have shown us that they will hunt more than 116 different species, but some of their favourites are sloths and monkeys. To be able to catch, dispatch, and carry these animals, they need to have some pretty serious weaponry, so it makes sense that they possess the largest talons of any living eagle. In some cases, these talons can make up around half of their total body weight, and that's really saying something as they can reach a maximum weight of around 9 kilograms in the wild. The main reason why the harpy eagle is relatively low down on this list is the fact that their hunting style limits the size of animals that they can target. Unlike some other birds that eliminate animals and then eat them on the spot, the harpy eagle actually needs to be able to snatch and carry the animal while in flight. This means that even though they would be able to target and successfully kill much larger animals, they don't come across them very often in their natural habitat, and they wouldn't be able to carry them away to their nests. Surprisingly, the largest animal that they have been known to hunt isn't a monkey or a particularly plump sloth, as instead it was a very unfortunate raccoon. As its name suggests, the crab-eating raccoon does tend to feed on sea creatures more than other members of its family, and it's not a common food item that the harpy eagle usually goes for. Despite this, it's the largest verified animal that the harpy eagle has hunted, with a claimed weight of 10.1 kilograms. It is possible that the harpy eagle could successfully take down and eat larger animals as many of the animals that they usually target can grow larger than this, but it's very hard to obtain this data. So for now, the crab-eating raccoon remains the largest. This means that the harpy eagle slots in at an unexpected sixth place, but it's still one of the most impressive and beautiful birds of prey in the world. 
for our next species, we'll be heading over to the dangerous swamps of Africa and we'll be taking a closer look at one of the most sinister looking birds in the world. The shoebill is both one of the strangest and one of the largest birds in Africa, and it shares its ecosystem with many animals that would happily take a chunk out of them if they could catch them. Nile crocodiles and giant pythons will attack them if they get the chance, but strangely the shoebill can also hunt these attackers under certain circumstances. They really aren't too picky when it comes to what they eat, and they'll often swallow young crocs, snakes and water monitors that they come across. If any of these apex predators did manage to catch a shoebill, then they would have a pretty substantial meal, as a shoebill can reach a maximum weight of around 7 kilograms. These strange birds have a few distinctive noises that they use to communicate with one another, with them being famous for making a machine gun-like sound with their giant bills. You'd assume that because they are so large, most other birds would leave them alone. But the African fish eagle will bully them and even hunt them from time to time. But most of their interactions end with the African fish eagle stealing their fish. Unlike the harpy eagle, these birds don't need to fly off with their prey even though they have the ability to fly. And this means that they can hunt much stockier prey. Shoebills tend to hunt many of the oddball fish that you can find in the pet trade, such as bishears, catfish and lungfish. Lungfish are among the most prehistoric animals alive today, and they are pretty hardy, being able to survive without water for years. They do this by forming a mucus cocoon underground, and then they patiently wait for the rains to return. Unfortunately for the lungfishes of Africa, they haven't come up with a way to deal with the shoebill just yet, and they are actually the largest animals that they can target. Some especially giant lungfish can reach weights of around 17 kilograms, and even though this is much heavier than the bird itself, they can target fish this big. This means that the menacing shoebill takes the fifth place spot, and even though they appear to be terrifying birds to some, they are actually quite endearing animals. For our next section, we'll be heading north to Eurasia, and once again we'll be taking a closer look at a giant eagle. The white-tailed eagle is another giant bird of prey, and they are the largest eagle that can be found in Europe. They have a maximum wingspan of around 2.65 meters, and they can reach a maximum weight of around 7 kilograms. It lives a very similar life to the aforementioned Stellar Sea Eagle, and these two birds are often spotted together, with the larger Stellar Sea Eagle acting as the bully. They usually aren't found too far away from a source of water, and they are expert fish hunters often swooping down to snatch them from the ocean. These eagles are also very intelligent and adaptable birds, and they will sometimes choose to be lazy with a lot of their diet in the winter months consisting of carrion. They are yet another large species that's known for being a successful kleptoparasite, and they have been known to steal prey from other birds such as ospreys, and even semi-aquatic mammals such as otters. Because of their fish hunting habits, they aren't very popular around fisheries and stocked lakes, as fish such as carp are simply too easy for them to hunt. Strangely, farmers also aren't too fond of these giant predators, as they will attack livestock from time to time, and it's been claimed that they are capable of carrying away lambs. Back in September of 2025, one farmer stated that they had started to hunt a completely different kind of livestock, and it's a predator-prey relationship that sounds pretty unlikely at first. The Scottish farmer claimed that the white-tailed eagles were behind the disappearance of five Shetland pony foals, but of course the eagles would not be able to fly off with an animal of this size. Now the Shetland pony is known for being a particularly tiny breed, but a foal is still a pretty large animal for a bird to target. On average, a Shetland pony foal weighs around 18 kilograms, which is over double the weight of some of the largest white-tailed eagles. Hopefully they can revert back to hunting more conventional prey, because hunting livestock is causing conflict with farmers, and some of them have taken matters into their own hands. This is quite a controversial issue in the UK, as they went extinct in the early 1900s due to habitat loss and persecution, and ever since they have returned they have been protected. Hopefully effective solutions can be found in the future, but for now their foal hunting behaviours slot them in at number 4. After doing some further research, there seems to be some doubts behind the farmer's story, as no pony remains were found in any of the white-tailed eagle's nests by the farm, so it is possible that they are innocent. Despite this, they are known to kill livestock and other mammals such as foxes, so this shouldn't affect the results too much. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can get back to the video, and our next giant bird of prey. 
For our next species, we can head to pretty much anywhere across the Northern Hemisphere, as our next species is one of the most adaptable birds of prey in the world. The Golden Eagle is the most widely distributed species of eagle, and across their range they feed on a variety of different animals. Because of the differences in climate and food availability across the Northern Hemisphere, they differ in size and shape depending on where they are found. But some of the largest individuals can reach a maximum weight of around 7.7 kilograms. Common prey animals for the Golden Eagle come in the form of small mammals such as hares and marmots, but canines also have reason to look to the skies in fear. As they have been known to target foxes and coyotes too. These animals alone would rank them pretty high up on the list, but they are known for dispatching their prey in a very brutal way that allows them to hunt ungulates. The chamois can be found in some of the mountainous regions of Europe and Western Asia, and they are masters at surviving at high altitudes. Like many other members of their family, they are great at climbing and have perfect balance, and they can jump up to 2 meters high and run at 50 kilometers per hour to avoid predators. Unfortunately, this isn't always enough to avoid the talons of golden eagles, but luckily for the larger individuals, they are simply too heavy for them to target. Depending on their weight, they can tackle the chamois in different ways, with young individuals being picked up directly, and larger individuals being pushed or guided off of cliffs. This is of course a very brutal way to eliminate their prey, and it allows them to target prey that they otherwise wouldn't be able to. Some of the largest chamois that they are capable of targeting can weigh up to 18.5 kilograms, which slots the golden eagle in at third place. For our next modern day dinosaur, we'll be heading to the competitive ecosystems of sub-Saharan Africa, and we'll be focusing on a bird of prey that really can't make its mind up when it comes to what they eat. The Marshall Eagle is the largest and most powerful eagle in Africa, and they have a massive distribution which allows them to hunt a wide range of prey. They can reach a maximum weight of around 6.2 kilograms, and even though this isn't as heavy as some of the other eagles featured, they are incredible predators and will target animals many times their own size. Their adaptability is one of the main factors behind their success, and they are at the top of the avian food chain in sub-Saharan Africa. They'll target other birds such as storks, herons and geese, and even mammals such as servals, jackals and monkeys. You'd assume that if you were a decent sized cat such as the serval, you'd be the one hunting birds, but the martial eagle reverses this predator-prey relationship and actually hunts cats. There have been reports of martial eagles stealing lion cubs, but this is an extremely risky way to hunt as it could easily all go wrong. The largest animal that they are known to target is much less dangerous, but they are a little harder to catch. They are opportunistic feeders and will target small antelope if given the opportunity, with the diker being one of their common targets. The largest diker to have ever been killed by a martial eagle was estimated to have weighed around 37 kilograms, which is over five times the martial eagle's maximum weight. This means that they are fit for the second place spot, and I'm sure the cats of Africa wish that they didn't exist. To find our final bird, we'll be heading over to the beautiful country of New Zealand, and these islands have always been dominated by birds. It was once home to giant mowers and the largest eagle to have ever existed, but today its birds are generally much smaller. To find one of its most successful predators, we'll have to head into the mountains, as we'll be taking a closer look at the kia. At first glance, the kia appears to be another peaceful parrot like many of the others that can be found in New Zealand, but sometimes looks can be deceiving. Even though they will eat regular parrot foods such as berries and insects, they are also known to hunt mammals such as rabbits and mice, and even other birds such as shearwater chicks. This behaviour is relatively new as famously New Zealand had almost no native land mammals apart from bats, so the kias have adapted to hunt the mammal invaders. Like many other parrots, the kia is known for being an extremely intelligent and adaptable animal, and they aren't too shy when it comes to approaching humans. They are naturally inquisitive and mischievous, and this leads them to look for food around humans, and even damage cars and properties. Because kias don't have the weaponry of many of the other birds of prey in this video, you'd think that there would be no way that they would be able to take down large prey. They only max out at around 1 kilogram in the wild, and they don't really have talons to rival the harpy eagle. The kia is a perfect example of a case where intelligence and adaptability is more important than weaponry and power, as they have shown us that they are capable of hunting large mammals. 
Even though it's a rare and very controversial occurrence, kias have been known to kill sheep in the past. They'll often scavenge carrion from dead animals across their range, and some of them have made the jump to start hunting living animals. It's been suggested that they only choose to hunt weak or injured sheep, and then they eat the fat from their backs. These injuries do not directly kill the sheep, but they can die from infections or by falling from heights while trying to escape the birds. The average sheep in New Zealand weighs around 65 kilograms, so the kia is capable of killing an animal 65 times its own size. This means that they easily take the top spot, and this is despite the fact that it's a bird that I'm sure many people didn't even consider. Of course, there are a few other species that I could have featured and I might have forgotten a bird or two, so feel free to let me know your suggestions down below. But for now, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, goodbye.